as well, Cat Squad here. Today I I am playing Beast Storm Simulator. And this is basically a game about harvesting honey from fields and and converting it back into and converting it into honey or or and then making more uh, and then sell and then buying new things to 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 up your production and and also doing quests around around the place. So, also if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And, and if you and if you want to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to ring to ring the bell when when you need to. If you're interested and want to hear more about this stuff, I'll have some stuff in my. My Discord channel. Uh, let's get on. So right now, I'm just doing what any sort of random person would start doing it when they first spawn. Would immediately begin harvesting honey, or just pollen. As you can see right here, there's a little capacity thing that that shows that how much. Pollen you can store before you have to transfer it into honey. And as you can see, I'm really rich with my honey. And trust me, that's going to be well needed for late later. And as you can see, I have some very, very useful materials. Also, tip, you use any sort of code that you can get off the... Uh, off any sort of YouTube video or or any sort of clues in the game. So let's go with a little tour. So this is your hive where you make honey. And as you can see, this is my hive. Very tall. And over here is a shop for tickets. Yeah, we'll come into that store later. Here is a shop for basic bee eggs, where you can put eggs into, and where you can buy eggs to expand your hive. But for me, there's an extra step for that. Second, second, next stop, we have the shop. This is where you can buy some material, some stuff that I don't even need. Looks like my friend just ran. Huh. So he doesn't know I'm recording at the minute. I'm going to tell him. Yeah. He's going to notice pretty soon. I know probably his reaction is going to be a little shocking. Uh. Oh wait, ah, I forgot to get on with the tour. Okay, so back to where I was at. Alright, so here are the fields. You will harvest uh your pollen here in all sort in all these fields. And you will and over here and here are some of the quest bears over here. This is the wealth clock where you can. Uh, so, if you wait a certain amount of time, like an hour, you can. You can get the ticket, and if you wait long enough, you can get another ticket. So here's the one of the quest bears. But I recommend going to Black Bear first. Black Bear, you start with some of the. Uh, beginner quests and if you go to this little pull down bar you can see all these quests I have obtained 
Yes, it is pain. Next, we have our achievements. You will have all sorts of badges like the Clover badge, the Blue Flower badge, the Dandelion badge, Sunflower badge, play Playtime badge, and Ability badge, which I'm mostly working on. So, after we go through there, there's a little secret I want to show you guys. So, if you're new to this game, you may want to know some secrets. Oh, I almost forgot the HQ. So, this is a HQ where you need a certain amount of bees to discover this. And a certain amount of discovered blue bees to go in here. And I have a quest I need to do. And as you can see, that's an example of me getting a quest. And it is pain. Alright, so where was I? Oh yeah, there's a secret area right here. Um, so this is basically where King Beetle will spawn. It is a level 7 boss. And it, if you don't have at least a decent amount of uh, level 7s or 6s, uh, you will not be able to beat the thing. Um, please ignore where I'm going until you're level 9. Cause this is the tunnel, bear tunnel. I don't recommend going down there unless you want to, uh, fail. Alright, so, back to here. Alright, so this is the ticket shop where you can buy stuff with your tickets. And there's only one, oh wait, two things I've never purchased from you. This thing, and this thing. So, this is the, where I love doing cannons. Where you can get around places quickly. Also, you're wondering, what is that area up there with the shop? How about the shop? Well, we'll come back to that later. But now let's move on to this zone, the five zone, you're where you're interest introduced to, to three new fields and one new quest. Also, the also you're introduced to this vicious bee thing, which where if you get two hundred and fifty stingers, you can you can get yourself your own vicious bee. Here's a gumdrop dispenser where you can get gumdrops. This will help later. So here's your next quest bear. Which I don't know what's going on with it. On the neighboring bamboo field. Alright, so let's move up to, the, to our next shop. Okay, this is where things start to get a little more expensive. Where we finally get our first thing that's actually worth a million. So first we have our our shop up here, and this has advanced stuff, including the portal hive and a parachute that will be really handy. And there's also really useful items. And there's these guards. Uh, I just recommend getting the other stuff. Alright, so. Also, there's these little guest memory match things. Which are actually really useful to get some materials with. Oh, but got lucky. Um, it's randomized every time. So, do not go off of mine. It will not work. Alright, so up here, you get access to Stumpfield, where has a very slow boss. That's the, that's the tree stump snail. Alright, so meanwhile, uh, up here is the new shop with a uh, dapper bear, and they're still getting set up. You can only ask for something. 
Meanwhile, there's these planters that you can buy. And this is the first one I have actually ever seen a full trillion. I mean, I'm not sure if anyone actually has it, but I'm not sure, as I said. Of course, you can see find secrets across the map. Like honeysuckles. And field dice, and smooth field dice to be exact. Alright, so... Now moving on to our neighbor- Oh wait, there's a mythic meteor shower thing up there. Now moving on to the 15 zone. So this may be a bit. Welcome to the 15 zone. You're introduced to one new quest bear and and a and one uh, two one HQ and one bat. One bad center and and a few enemies as well. I actually get four fields because of Rose Field up here. So then there's also the tour of the of the Red HQ. Yes, it has a shop and a portal. So after you get through here, um, there's a quest feed that I do not have a translator for. It will just speak in quotes. So for the HQ... You can get sprinklers here. I have the golden ones. I need five more uh, master badges, which I'm not doing well on. Also, there's a blender where you can craft stuff. And over here, there's another memory match where badges can affect your the amount of times you can get to tap stuff. Okay, I've probably taken a little too much time on the tour. So here's here. Honey V. Honey V. Just says that. Oh, no, it says honey. So, quick tour of the 35 zone. You're introduced to a, yes, a very hard quest bearer. This thing, which is a very heck expensive. And, secret, and there's an area over there, and the wind train where you can donate stuff. Also, this area over here. Is the ant challenge stingers you can get over here, but it's worth tickets. So then you, but each of these areas you need a certain amount of bees to get into. So I'm right now in the 25 zone. Also, this is where you can get the por porcelain stuff and some. And some very useful things. Meanwhile, there's the hive slot where you can expand your hive to to greater things. Because the original maximum is 25, but you can expand it with the with the uh, with those hive slots. So entering the 30 zone, you're only introduced to a quest guy, which is on it. And all over here, we have a nectar pot. And you can gather nectar through uh, the planters. Up there, I am not going to go up there. Although there is a... Uh, memory match up there as well. 
Alright, now for the part that I've been keeping from um, me for a bit. This is the star area. So you can get, so there's gifted bees that you can, that you need to have a certain amount. Currently I have 20 that are, that are new and that are recently discovered. And you can also uh, get your amount of uh, royal jellies that of gifted bees that you have. So that ends the tour. But let's get on to the main focus of things. So let's go into a, a 35 zone. Because this is a specific place where I'll be going. So we're going to here. And as you can see, there's this thing. And it's a coconut crab. And there are some of the worst things to encounter while fighting this thing. So basically, there's an area you can access behind that lock, but unfortunately you need to beat the darn boss that and it's currently a level 12. So if you want to beat the darn thing, you're going to have to be leveled up quite a bit. Also tip, um, best time to use the stinger is when it's jumping. Also, shout out to the to uh, SCP Man Eleven. Uh, if you want to subscribe to him, go ahead. Oh. Uh, Yeah, you may not want to get pinched by that thing. I can ve Ouch! You're fine. Alright, just get- just continue. I'm literally just going way too fast. Oops. Too bad. Well, wait, what was that? Oh, wait, I think I've discovered this area before. Like, it was when the Mythic Bees never existed in this game. Also, Mythic Bees are just a harder version to get than the... Event bees. So I think there was a way to do it. And all I just had to do was to get up to a mountaintop field. Oh yeah, I have to use the cannon. Alright, using the cannon to get up there. I can glide down to one of the corners. So my objective is to get up to there. Currently, I cannot. Oh, wait. Ah, never mind. Alright, so there has to be, like, other ways to do it, right? Oh, 
Oh wait, yeah, I know. I know a second way. So we're going to. Go through here. We're going to go to the 35 zone. Also, don't mind the shop over there. That's where I'm going to get something new. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's probably going to work. Ah, I'm going to have to try again. This may take a bit. No, oh, God. Yes, it's worked. All right, so I think I see it over there. Yep, here I am. So yeah, I'm just gonna walk this there. Here we go for, for the rest of the days of my account. So I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Please subscribe. And I'll see you next time.